Hi, and welcome. Today, we are going to be discussing an evidence-based technique called heart math. This technique is beneficial for reducing the effects of stress. I'd like to share my screen with you so that you can see some of the negative impacts that stress has on the body. So here we see that 60 to 80% of primary care doctor visits are related to stress. And as I scan down here, you can see many of the other issues. And we know pretty much all disease originates in stress. And we see some of the key components here, you know, anxiety, grinding your teeth, heart issues, strokes, digestive disorders, weight gain and obesity, decreased sex drive, things like fibromyalgia. So stress affects the body physically, mentally, and emotionally. So what can we do about it? Um, we know that it's not the event or situation that creates the stress, but how we respond to it. Emotions have a powerful impact on the human body. Positive emotions like appreciation, care, and kindness feel good and they're good for us. They help the systems in our body to synchronize and actually work better. Um, research has even shown that when we intentionally shift to a positive emotion, the heart rhythms immediately change. The shift in heart rhythms creates a nice cascade of neural, hormonal, and biochemical events that benefit the entire body. When we're stressed, our body becomes out of sync and the depleting emotions that we end up feeling like anger, frustration, anxiety, and worry lead to disorder in the nervous system. Renewing emotions like appreciation, care, and kindness create order. And in heart math, we call this coherence. And coherence leads to mental clarity, creativity, and resiliency. Um, regular practice of heart math can actually lower your baseline levels of stress. So what I mean by that is if you are typically someone who becomes very stressed out and your stress level rises up here, and it's very difficult to manage, through the use of heart math techniques on a regular basis, you can lower that baseline level. So maybe it won't go any higher than this, which is much more manageable. So today I'm gonna to walk you through two of the heart math basic techniques. The first one is called heart focused breathing. And we typically start every heart math technique with heart focused breathing. And we're gonna go straight into a second technique called the quick coherence technique. So I'm just gonna go ahead and walk you through these and I hope you enjoy. So go ahead and put your head a little bit downwards. You can look at the floor or your legs. And if you're comfortable, you can go ahead and close your eyes. And I want you to focus your attention on the area of the heart. You could even put your hand on your heart if that helps you to focus. And I want you to breathe deeply and slowly in and out of your heart area, a little more slowly than normal, but keep it comfortable. Nice, deep, slow breaths in and out of the area of the heart, just imagining that air flowing right into your heart and out of your heart. Deep, slow breaths, focusing on the area of the heart.
And I'd like you to continue to do this, but add in a renewing thought. And a renewing thought is something that makes you feel really good, like a location, an accomplishment, a pet. And I want you to imagine that you're there right now experiencing that thing and feeling all of the good emotions associated with it as you breathe deeply and slowly in and out of your heart. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. The HeartMath Institute recommends that you practice these exercises daily. Use them three to four times a day for a few minutes. Good times to use them are first thing in the morning, at lunchtime, and then maybe again at night before you go to sleep. You can also use them whenever you have a stressful situation. And even if you'd like to just rebalance, get an energy boost, and gain more mental clarity. If you'd like more information on HeartMath, please visit heartmath.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.